In this example, it looks like we're going to go ahead and evaluate this definite integral from 0 to 2, and our integrand is this rational expression, and of course this is with respect to x. If you'd like to try this first, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work it together. Okay, so taking a look at this integrand, we have this rational expression, and it's a polynomial in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator, and it appears that there's not really a great u substitution that I could use that would take care of this and give me something really easy to integrate. So instead, let's consider actually doing the division and taking this numerator and dividing it by this denominator divisor. And because our denominator is just x plus 2, it's a linear binomial, uh, synthetic division actually sounds like a really good way to go. Remember with synthetic division, our divisor needs to be in the form x minus k, and so we can rewrite this x plus 2 as x minus a negative 2, and we see that our k value will be negative 2. So let's go ahead and set that division up. We have our negative 2 here, and then we'll set up our division algorithm. And recall that synthetic division really concerns itself with the, uh, the coefficients and the constant. So we'll start here with the quadratic term, which is 1. There is no linear term, so we need to make sure we put a 0 as a placeholder. And then our constant is negative 3. And I always like to put this box right there for my remainder. Okay. So let's go ahead and work this synthetic division. We're going to bring down this leading coefficient. He'll be 1. And then we'll do a series of multiplication uh, with addition. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. We'll add here to get negative 2. And negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And we'll add here to get this remainder of 1. So when we go ahead and put this all together, this is a constant and this is our linear term. So this quotient actually becomes... And so we still have our integral from 0 to 2. We have x minus 2 and then plus 1 over that divisor of x plus 2. And all that, of course, is with respect to x. All right, so a couple of these terms really easy to integrate. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we have our x, which when we integrate will be 1 half x squared. And the minus 2 when we integrate will just be a negative 2x. And here we have our 1 over and this x plus 2. This actually is going to turn out to be the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 2, that denominator there. And the reason we can just go ahead and slip it into this form is because the derivative of this x plus 2 is just 1. And 1 on top, the derivative there is 1. So if you were to use a u substitution, you would just get this guy right here. But we're not adding a plus c because we have ourselves a definite integral. We have our limits of integration. So let's go from 0 to 2 for this integral here. All right, so equals, let's put, plug the 2 in first. So 2 squared is 4, half of that is 2, minus 2 times 2, so that's minus 4, plus the natural log of 2 plus 2 is 4, so it's the natural log of 4, minus... Let's put the 0 in, so 0 minus 0 plus the natural log of 2. All right, so if we lose all the parentheses here, really we have 2 minus 4 plus the natural log of uh, 4 minus the natural log of 2. Of course, those guys will go together really nicely, so negative 2. Let's go ahead and consider these two natural logs, because we can actually put them together. If we rewrite this natural log of 4 as the natural log of 2 squared and then bring that exponent out front as a coefficient, it'll be 2 times the natural log of 2 minus, here we have the natural log of 2. So these are like terms where we have 2 here and 1 here and we're subtracting, so we just end up with plus the natural log of 2 or a positive natural log of 2 right there. So this will be our answer. If perhaps you don't like leading with the negative, we could switch these terms around and we could say this evaluates as the natural log of 2 minus 2 for the evaluation of our integral here, where we went from 0 to 2 for this rational expression.